Welcome to Construction Review's weekly roundup of the news in the building and construction industry in Africa. We begin our news in Kenya where the government has announced that the Chinese government has agreed to fund the construction of the Naivasha Kisumu Standard Gauge Railway. Phase 2A of the project, which stretches from Nairobi to Naivasha, is already 98% complete and will be operational in September, paving way for Phase 2B Naivasha Kisumu project projected to take four years to be completed. The 1,500-kilometer railway project beginning in Mombasa was initially expected to be complete in 2018. In Rwanda, construction of the 340 million US dollar Usumo hydroelectric project, located at the border of Rwanda and Tanzania, is 47% complete. The hydropower project features a run of the river design that eliminates the need for constructing a reservoir while minimizing social and environmental impact. The powerhouse of the plant will have three vertical axis capline turbines and three 30 megawatt generators with 12 kV output voltage. There will also be a 260-meter-long diversion canal with a width of 17 meters and a 250-meter-long tailways canal with a width of 40 meters. On to Sierra Leone, where the government is to invest 2 billion US dollars to link its capital city Freetown to the country's only international airport through construction of a 7-kilometer bridge. Freetown International Airport at Lungi is currently accessible only by boat or helicopter, separated from the capital by the nearly 5-kilometer wide mouth of the Roquel River. Upon completion, the bridge may be run to be the largest infrastructure project in the West African country. Now, the government of Madagascar is set to construct three photovoltaic solar power plants following a partnership agreement signed between them and Triba Energy, a French company. According to the deal, the plants will be built over the next five years. It will be located in the Analamanga and Bakina Karata regions with the energy produced providing electricity to nearly 50,000 households. The three projects are the first of a 50 megawatt portfolio Triba intends to build in Madagascar. Morocco is set to construct a cement plant in Oled Ghanem in the province of El Jadida, 150 kilometers south of Casablanca. This is after the Moroccan company Texim signed a financing agreement of $274 million for the project. The cement plant will produce an estimated 1.4 million tons of cement per year and 1.1 million tons of clinker. The production will meet the increasing demand for housing and infrastructure projects in Morocco and across Africa. The plant is expected to begin operations in 2022. And that is all we have this week. Be sure to subscribe below to ensure you don't miss our weekly roundup. And also visit our web portal constructionreviewonline.com for more information and a chance to subscribe to the digital format of our print publication.